Question 14. Here is a number pyramid. The number in a box is the product of the two numbers below it. Write the missing numbers. So the number in this box is the product of the two numbers below it. So 2 times by whatever this number is must make the 5. A simple example would be to actually draw another few boxes. So for example, if this was 3 and this was 4, this would have to be 12. So the number 12 would be the product of the 3 times the 4. Okay, so you could get 3 times 4 equals 12. But what's worth knowing here as well is that if you start with a number on top and divide by the number underneath, so for example 12 divided by 4, you would also get the other number that's on the bottom. So 12 divided by 4 would equal 3. Or if you did 12 divided by 3, you would get the 4. Now this will actually help you in filling in these numbers. So, what we're saying is, if you start with a number on the top, which is the 5 here, and divide it by the 2, you'll get whatever goes here. So 5 divided by 2, well half of 5 is 2.5, so that must be 2.5. And if you think about it, the product of 2 and 2.5 would be 5, because 2 times by 2.5 would get you the 5. If you do... 22.5 divided by the 5 you're going to get what goes in this box here so that's not so simple to do so what we might want to do is use a bush shelter division method for that so 22.5 divided by 5 5's into 2 won't go but you haven't used 2 5's into 22 goes 4 times with 2 left over so carry the 2 to the next column and 5 into 25 goes 5 times. Remember your decimal point, so that would be 4.5. So this box must be 4.5. So the product of 4.5 and 5 would be 22.5. Last one, we'd have to do 4.5 divided by 2 to, to get whatever goes in this box. So if you're dividing 4.5 by 2, well remember 4.5 is the same as 4.5 with a 0 on the end if you divide that by, by, by 2 well, some of you will be able to do this in your head half of 4 would be 2 and half of 0 0.50 would be 0 0.25 so it looks like it's going to be 2.25 let's just double check 2 into 4 goes twice 2 into 5 goes twice remain the 1 and 2 into 10 goes 5 times Put your decimal point in, 2.25. Just as a quick double check, we've got all of the answers now. Let's go back to the original question and remember what it actually said. It said that the number in a box is the product of the two numbers below it. Now remember, this 3 times the 4, the product of those makes the 12. So let us... Just do some quick multiplication to double check. So if you take these two here, well 2 times 2.5 is 5, so that works. 2 times 2.25, well let's just double check. 2 times 5 is 10, put the 0 in, carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus the 1 is 5, and 2 times 2 is 4. So we've got 4.50, and 4.50 is the same as 4.5, so that works. And finally, we've got these two times it together, 4.5 times 5, to get the very top one, 22.5. So 4.5 times 5, we're hoping to see 22.5. 5 times 5 is 25, put the 5 in, carry the 2. 5 times 4 is 20, plus the 2 is 22. Put your decimal point in. So 22.5. So all of the numbers work out, therefore we must have completed the number pyramid correctly.